In this video, I'm going to show you how to create short storybooks for children using two free tools, ChatGPT and Canva. Now, if you have a mobile phone, it is going to work for you. And if you also have a laptop, it's going to work for you. You can use both devices to use this method that I'm going to share with you. I'm also going to go for I'm going to go an extra mile to show you how to make money from it. So stay tuned. My name is Charles. The first step is to go to ChatGPT and enter this prompt. You're going to say, write a short story for kids that teaches something useful. And I'm going to press enter. So what's going to happen is ChatGPT is going to write a very short story that you can read or that people can read to children. All right. So you can see the story here and once upon a time in the whispering woods, we're going to edit this prompt and we're going to say, don't use flowery or preachy words. Be super simple. And then we press send. Beautiful, it has written a lovely story. Now, one sunny afternoon, Ben and Mia went to the park with their bright red kite. The sky was perfect and they were excited to see the kite so high. Ben held the kite while Mia ran, letting string out. The kite climbed higher and higher, dancing in the wind. They laughed and cheered, watching it fly. After a while, Mia asked, can I hold the string, Ben? Sure, Ben said, handing her the spool. But be careful, hold it tight. And so, so you can read through whatever story it gives to you. But I want to take a step further and let ChatGPT know that I want you to write a story regarding animals, all right? All right. So, once upon a time in a small village, there was a little boy named Timmy. Timmy loved to play outside, but his favorite place was his grandma's garden. It was full of colorful flowers, tall trees, and delicious vegetables. One sunny morning, Timmy's grandma gave him a small packet of seeds. These are carrot seeds, she said. Would you like it or would you like to plant them and see what happens? So this story looks good. What we are going to do, you know, we edited the prompt to give us a good story. All right. That is fun. So what we're going to do is to copy this. Okay. We're going to scroll down, copy this, and then we are going to open Google Word document and paste it here. I'm going to share why you have to paste it here. So don't worry about it. I'm going to explain why and what you're going to use this for. The next step is to go to Canva and then search for storybook. Canva is free, by the way. So you don't need to pay any money to do this. So you're going to search for storybook. I'm going to search for storybook, children's storybook. All right children's storybook templates. So there are a lot of templates here. Um, what we want is a brand, a fresh template. So we are going to click on create a design and write um, storybook and click on storybook. And yes, we have the template for storybook. Now, the first thing we're going to do, you can see there are different templates here that we can use. So what we're going to do is to just take background from this. Uh, let's take a sub two background color. Um, let's scroll down. I'm going to take this background color. You, know, you can use the template or you can, you know, create a different template, but I'm not going to, I'm just going to use the background and I'm going to take this out. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to leave, uh, let me see. I'm going to delete this. So I like this background. So what I'm going to do next is to, I'm going to go to elements and then scroll down to see all frames. I'm going to scroll down to blob. All right. We're going to click on blob, click on see all, and then we're going to add this. Now, before we add this blob, we are going to duplicate the pages. Let's say our story would take up to five, 10 pages, whatever. So what we're going to do is to 
click on this plus sign that says duplicate page because we want to use this background all right so you're going to click on duplicate that's duplicated duplicate all the pages would have the same background all right we're just going to touch it up so we have six pages right now seven eight you're going to leave it at eight all right and we are going to add blobs to the pages we're going to add this here we're going to add this and then we're going to add this uh, next page uh let's go scroll down to the next page we're going to add a blob and then so what we are going to do is we are going to add images to these frames to bring out you know the beauty in the storybook we're going to add this here all right and we're going to add this Then we're going to add this and then we're going to add this and this all right then the eighth page we are going to add this so we've added this let's go back to the script now listen this part is very important because this brings out the beauty in the story and makes it very attractive for people to even want to purchase so what we are going to do is to read this and know what it's talking about and then use this to create the background you're going to add certain things to the background which i'll be showing you so now this is talking about plants garden planting of carrots all right so what we are going to do we're going to go back there and then we're going to go to design or elements and then we're going to search for carrots we're going to add this so what we're going to do with this is i'm going to reduce it okay and then reduce the transparency to blending with the book so we just add two different types okay then we add also this bunny here and um, reduce the transparency to we are going to do this for practically almost all the pages all right all right so now we have all this all right the next thing is to add the text to the pages so we are going to go to the google doc and copy this first paragraph we're going to do paragraph by paragraph and we are going to click on text and then just click on body and i'm going to take this up here and select a font uh, we're going to use regular and then we are going to paste what we copied you can see we have pasted it here and then we make it bigger we make it bigger and bigger uh, let's make this bold. I think it's going to look good when it's bold, right? Yes, it looks better. I'm uh, going to increase it. Now we have this. We are going to do that for all the pages, all right? I'm going to copy each paragraph. So now the important thing you need to do is to read each paragraph or each page and make sure that it flows with the image that you're going to add. So you're going to add an image to the first page to this frame here. So what you're going to do is to click on apps and search for text to image. And when you search for text to image, click on AI image generator. So what you're going to do, you're going to enter a prompt based on this. So we're going to say colorful garden cartoon house fruit and then create yeah so we have this colorful garden i'm going to paste it here and now this looks this looks beautiful right so we are going to do this for orders
All right, so we are done with adding images to all the frames, all the blobs, and you can see how beautiful this looks, right? You can see how it looks with the text, and I'm sure every child will want to read this. So now you don't need to generate all the images here. What you can do in case you don't, you're not able to generate an image, you're going to scroll up, click on elements, and then search for whatever you want. You can search for garden, then an image of garden would show up or graphics or whatever, then you can add it there. All right. You can add it and use it. So you don't have to, you know, to generate everything. There's no rule in the, there's no rule down there that says, oh, generate everything. All right. So what you can do once you're done with everything, the final thing to do is to click on share and then click on more and then scroll down to where it says simple booklet flip. Click on it and then click on open. All right. It's going to generate a link all right, where you can view the book. So just sign in with your Google account if you have a Google account. I'm going to log in and then click on export your design and um, save. It is preparing your design. Now, what you're going to do is to click view in simple booklet flip. Now, remember, I promised I was going to show you how you can you know, make money from this book, from creating this book. Now, before we get there, let's just click on convert. Select the type of book we want, page curl like this. So here we we'll add a title. Um, we just add it carrot garden, and then we use the page curl, and then click on convert. Now click on view preview. Now this is our book. This is the preview of it. So if we click here, you can see how it turns to the next page, to the next page. And turns to the next page. Now you can see how beautiful this looks. All right, you can do this. Anybody can do this. Now we are in the money making part. So what we're going to do is to click on share, and then select download, and click on PDF print. And we're going to select all pages. All right, and click on download. So we are going to download the PDF. We just downloaded the PDF. So from this PDF, you can use this and upload on platforms that would pay you for these kind of books. There are a lot of people that go to platforms that I'll be sharing with you to, you know, to buy books like this. So let's go to Amazon KDP. So if you go to kdp.amazon.com, you'll be able to set up your KDP account and then upload your book. And now this is your book. What they will do after publishing it is they are going to convert it to a physical book. You can convert it to a physical book and sell it on Amazon. So once someone buys it on Amazon, they're going to send the printed version of this book. So just join KDP, sign up, set up your account and everything. KDP is one platform. Another platform is lulu.com. Sign up here, the same thing. It's not just an online platform for selling books. It's a physical platform. You upload the PDF of your book. For this case, your colorful book, all right? Upload the PDF. And then they are going to print it. They are going to distribute it worldwide. And then you will be able to make money from it. A lot of people are making money on Amazon. They are selling books, getting, you know, thousands of sales. So upload it on the platforms that I shared with you, Amazon KDP and Lulu.com. And you'll be able to make money from this book whenever people buy this book. A lot of people buy books like this for their kids, for their children. Now, if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe to this channel. There are a lot of helpful videos here, all right? Subscribe, like this video. And I shared something important in this video right here.